right, Todd's back, and we're just catching up on uh, this weekend's NFL game. Yeah. I know you're excited about the playoffs, Chloe. You won't stop talking about it. Seriously, yeah. I, mean, um, I can't get a word in. Edgewise. Miami at Buffalo and projected snowstorm in Orchard Park for that game. Mm. Not here. <laughs> you know, like you look at them and go, oh, it's like, look, look what they're getting. So, yeah. I mean, I don't want 30 feet of snow like they get in, in any given moment with that exactly. lake effect stuff, but no. still. But, you know, kind of you, you get a lot so of – I mean, that may help the Dolphins, to be honest, to slow down yeah. the Bills, but – They're on their third string – Chloe, what do you think? They're on their third string quarterback. <laughs> I'm pretending wow. like I know what's going on. <laughs> I don't. Just nod. Yeah. Just that's go like this, Chloe. That's basically what I do yeah. when sports <laughs> are The only thing that helps oh, the yeah. Dolphins is if right. they cancel the game. Because <laughs> oh, they're not winning that game. Sorry. As if they get to a healthy – Hey, you made the playoffs. Congratulations. And now goodbye. Yeah, yeah you, so. beat, you beat the Jets by a, a last-second field goal, right? Nine-six. Nine-to-six. Nine Thriller. Oh, but it was the game that let me win pigskin picks. So thank you very much, Miami. Oh, here we go. And yeah. I did you want to recap that? Uh, um, I, oh, no, no, I got to go over to the wall. Yeah, sorry, I got to leave you. Bye. I finished first on that one. You don't want to talk about that? Bye. Okay. Talk to you later. All right. <laughs> All right. We're starting out with some cold, and it's really cold up north. Three below zero in Caribou right now. Single digits Holt in Millinocket, Callis, Teens, Bangor, Waterville, Bar Harbor, and then a little milder or less cold perhaps. Uh, down through southern Maine, 20 Augusta and 24 in Portland. There will be a few flurries over the next few hours, but the steadier snow holds off until the afternoon. That's when this warm front gets into the act. It'll run into the cold, so again, it is snow, but that snow won't stick around long. Milder air flows in quickly. This evening we're changing over to rain. Late tonight and tomorrow, it is going to pour, especially for tomorrow morning. So clouds are thickening up, flurries possible across the south, but your roads will be in great shape for the entire morning drive. It actually looks pretty quiet too for the middle of the day, northern, central, eastern Maine. Snow showers begin to slip over the border during the middle of the day. And because temps will be below freezing, they're going to instantly stick. So things will get slick and roads get a little greasy here if crews don't go out. Evening hours, mild air starts to work in. We're mixing with rain along the coast and changing over. So it's just a quick little coating of snow. But inland, 32, 32, 30, 30, it's still steady snow. So your drive home will be a little more challenging, at least wet roads, if not slushy or snow covered. Please drive safely, cautiously, get home in one piece. Later tonight, boom, here you go. The big stuff comes in. So between now and like this evening, it's all kind of intermittent. This isn't. This is solid, heavy precipitation, but with warmer temperatures working in, that rain snow line is going to fly inland. It'll be all rain for Lewiston. It'll be changing to rain in Augusta, really close to rain in Bangor with a temp of 35. That snow won't accumulate well, even though there'll be big, huge flakes, and it'll be intense snow for a couple of hours as you head through the foothills and mountains. Tomorrow morning's commute, there it is, steady rainfall, some of it heavy. And we may be dealing with some drainage issues for tomorrow morning's commute. The winds will be whipping in off of the ocean too. Still some downpours around mid morning, but then the heavy rain shifts east. And I got to say tomorrow afternoon actually looks pretty solid, mostly cloudy, but mild and balby with temperatures between 45 and 50 degrees. Here's the snow on the front end. Coating gets washed away along the coast. Inch or two Bangor, Augusta, Lewiston, Sebago Lake also washed away. Three to six inches, foothills, mountains, central highlands, and double digit snowfall for the crown of Maine. Going to be a lot in northern parts of Aroostook County. A second low will form on the trailing front over the weekend. The precipitation shield is going to get really close to us, but probably comes up short for the entire MLK weekend. We're looking pretty good, although we'll keep a close eye on that precip. It'll get close. It's worth watching for now. Marine forecast gale warnings are up. Seas two to four. Southeast winds gusting to 30 knots. Here's our seven day snow developing today. There'll be some coatings around for the afternoon and evening, so be careful out there. It'll get a little slippery. We changed to rain tonight. Heavy rain tomorrow morning. It'll be warm. It's 45 to 50. Rain tapers off in the afternoon. Weekend, okay. Mostly cloudy both Saturday and Sunday. Seasonably, uh, seasonable temperatures in the 30s. MLK day looks good. A mix of sun and clouds getting closer to 40 and then probably into the 40s for the middle of next week. A little milder. All right, thank you, Todd. You're and welcome. just wanted to throw one thing in there. It was yeah. actually 11 to 6 and not 9 to 6. Oh, what? 
But Sporty they, Spice just I mean, showed up right. out of nowhere. And they had to on that. memorize that line <laughs> yeah. really quickly. It's all she's guy, talking but. about, that safety at the end of the game. I mean, she, oh, that's right. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I totally forgot yeah. about the safety. I mean, she's got some sneaky skills over here. All she right. was watching the game. Thank you, Chloe. All right. You're welcome. <laughs>